Rabbit Jay, I look up the Papa Hotel Alpha with Caram 700 inbound for the Southern Open with Quebec. Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're all having an amazing day. A lot of you have asked, how do I record my audio in a helicopter and how do I mount my GoPro in helicopter while training? So today I'm going to share a few products for you that I ordered from Flight Flix and the products are by Crystal Pilot. So first of all, I'm going to share the cable I use for my helicopter plug and record my audio while in training. So that's what it comes in. Um, as you can see, it's by Crystal Pilot and I bought it from Flight Flex in United States. This was about 45 US dollars for the cable. And I'm gonna share the Robbie mount with you as well. That was I think 99 US dollars and both items cost $46 for delivery. I think it was 41 or 46. Uh, you gotta be careful how many items you ordered because I noticed if I ordered second mount, my shipping went to 80 something dollars, which I thought was a bit too much. So second mount ended up being 140 something dollars. So I thought it wasn't worth it, didn't end up ordering. Anyways, let's have a look at the cable first and I'm gonna unpack it for you. This is how it came packed and that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna unpack this together. Let's have a look at the paperwork first. So we've got Crystal Pilot and obviously Tix. They sell all kind of different cables and you can order the one that matches your recording device. And on the back, you can see some reference images as well. And on front of that, there's a full diagram of how the items work as well. And then in the next bag, we've got two cables. The first cable is your helicopter plug. So we're gonna take that out. So we've got this helicopter headphone pin, male, and we've got a female, and we've got TRRS on this side. So you're gonna plug this to your helicopter. This is where you're gonna plug in your helicopter headphones. This one, if you don't want the filtration, you can put that in your mobile device, mobile phone, with a 3.5 mm TRRS jack, because this one has uh, stereo and uh, mic pin in there. However, we use the filter, so that's the little filter that it comes with. And you'll see on one side, it has this uh, female, that one goes in there. And now we have a um, mini USB this side and a micro USB this side. This side is where you plug in the power bank, just a normal USB five volt power bank. And this is where the other cable goes in. Okay, so we're gonna unpack the second cable. So the cable I bought is mini USB to TRS, which is 3.5 mm headphone adapter. And what you do with the mini USB, that one goes on the other side. And now you have a full cable. So this one, this goes in your helicopter. Female is where you are plug in your helicopter headphones, the one you're gonna wear. And this side of the cable goes into your recording device. And that's how we record audio. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. And if you know of any different, easier, or better way to record cockpit audio, please share that with the community. Uh, I look forward to hear your suggestions. Thanks. <music>
that you don't need any tools as you're fastening it. I'm gonna bring it up close and see if it can focus on there. There you go, that's what it looks like. Perfect. Okay, so you can hand fasten it. But you can't mount a camera on this one just yet. This is where the second packet comes in. And we're gonna open that together. This one's called Rocksteady GoPro Ball Mount. Um, this product is made by a company called Rocksteady, also bought from Flight Flix um, in the United States. So I got this shipped in Australia. I do believe they ship worldwide. Um, be wrong, check with them. The first item is we've got this ball mount and that's the side where our GoPro fits in. What else we have in this packet? Let's unpack it and look at it. Okay, so we've got a few items in there. We've got two of these, I believe they join together and that's where the ball mount goes in. But let's, let's open it and have a look. I believe we're gonna need more tools from this. There is also another one there with an Allen key. Um, we're not gonna use that one. We're gonna try and use the one that is a hand fastener because we wanna make it easy for us. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm combining these two together. Okay, so this one simply just screws in. Again, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you can't really put it wrong way because it just won't fit. So what we're gonna do now here is that's our clamp. This one is gonna go in there. Are we gonna... This is super secure, guys. As you would expect for anything aviation, it needs to be super secure, super steady. All parts are metal parts. I believe it's all aluminium, uh, but there's nothing plastic in here. Um, that's how it's gonna lock in. Perfect, there you go. That's how it looks assembled. That's where your GoPro comes in. This is the side that gets mounted on Robbie or Robinson helicopter's rib. Um, you just loosen up the fastener, put that in the rib, and tighten it. There is a provision for an Allen key if you want it really tight. But in our case, we just hand fasten it to make sure it's nice and tight. Um, currently, this one does have a bit of a give to move. We, as we tighten this, this one locks in as well, and so does this one. So when you're adjusting it, just loosen up one of these, and both of these will move around. Once you have it where you want it, tighten it, and voila. There you have it. So these are the Rocksteady mount for aviation. They sell whole heaps of different mounts for different cameras and different aircrafts for fixed wing and rotary wing. So check them out, Rocksteady aviation mounts from Flight Flix. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment. And if you have any feedback, would love to see how you guys mount your cameras securely. Um, would love to see what else there is in the market and what are the other options. I believe these are a bit expensive, 99 US dollar just for the mount, a little bit rich, considering you can get a small rig one, something similar for less than $10. I'm gonna give that a go. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I'm keen to get my hands on one of those and give it a go and compare it. Um, however, it is for aviation use, so you wanna make sure it is all metal, solid, and immune to all the vibrations that you experience in an aircraft. So hopefully that was helpful, guys. If you have any questions, please drop me a comment. And also, I'd love to hear how you guys mount your cameras in your aircraft. I look forward to your suggestions and hearing um, all your feedback, and I'll see you next time.